We're now going to look at using one bias generator to bias multiple transistors. So here we have a diode connected BJT and it's connected to the supply through a reference resistor that will be used to create our reference current we'll label IR. Note that this configuration looks very similar to the simple MOS current mirror that we looked at in the last set of slides. One thing that we have to note with the bipolar transistor is that bipolar transistors don't have infinite input impedance and so they have finite base current that flows into them unlike the MOS transistor. So here if we were to do KCL around this super node consisting of all the bases of the transistor and the diode connection following expression. We have IR is equal to IC1 plus IB1 plus IB2 plus everything up to IBN. Now if we note that IC zero is approximately equal to all of the other collector currents. We can find that I ref or I R is equal to I sub zero plus I sub zero times N over beta. In other words, I out is equal to I ref IR divided by 1 plus N divided by beta. Now this is what we call a systematic error. We want our output current to equal our reference current, but we note that because we have many, many bases connected to this, the systematic error is growing. And of course, the larger we make N, in other words, the more connections we make, the larger the systematic error is. We also note this does not happen with a MOS current mirror. And this is due to the infinite input impedance at DC. So the question we ask is, how do we reduce this error? And in the next set of slides, we'll look at using a buffered bias generator. This is sometimes called a beta helper.